Uh, just to start off with, uh, you've referenced Joe Heck several times. You've compared him to Donald Trump uh, during the speech last week with Hillary Clinton, and you said his middle name was basically Joe on Trump uh, Heck. But you know as well as I do that Congressman Heck has a somewhat moderate voting record. Why do you think it's fair to he doesn't. You? That's, that's the fallacy. He doesn't have a moderate voting record. What are you talking about? Give me one moderate thing he's done. One. Well, you Give sponsored me one. A, the Dream Act in 2013. He, he like has that. voted to defund Dreamers. He, anybody can introduce a piece of legislation. He knows he's doing our work. He's a phony. And speaking of Republicans who uh, endorsed Donald Trump, Governor Brian Sandoval is another one of these. He's someone who's spoken about uh, in the past with some more respect. Today he said he's not endorsing him. He he's not supporting him, but I don't know if that counts as not endorsing well, him. What do you think it says about the governor that he's not you know, backing away from someone like Donald Trump who has caused so much division? I think Sandoval has been a good governor, and this is an indication of why he's been a good governor. He's not a parrot uh, like Keck who's going to vote for Trump. Uh, you, know, you said earlier today. Who do you work for? Channel 13. Okay. Uh, you said earlier today, Senator, that you were planning to vote against uh, question two, the recreational marijuana. No, I didn't say that. I said that until somebody makes a case, I'm not going to vote for it. But at this and point, you're voting against it. I don't vote until November. I said this morning, I say again, I'm totally in favor of medical marijuana. I'm a convert. It's very important. And I'm not going to commit to voting for or against um, recreational marijuana until cases made. Right now, cases has not been made to me. You know, another ballot initiative that's on. Anybody have other questions? Yes. Um, so why, um, why is it important for you to support the LGBT community and the Latino community in particular? Well, um, first of all, I've had a love affair going with the Hispanic community for more than 30 years. Uh, I have started out in my political infancy telling Hispanics that they would only feel their strength when they proved it at the ballot box. They've done that, all, not only in Nevada, but around the country. They're a powerful organization, and I've done everything I can to help them. And we're working now on a number of issues, including conference and immigration reform. Why do I support the LBGP community? Why? Because they need support. There's all, too much prejudice going on in America today. And a lot of it is directed to our, my friends in that community. Okay. Um, and there anything you want the Latino community, Hispanic community to know? Yes, I do. Uh, Congressman Heck has voted against our attempts to do comprehensive immigration reform. He could have gone to his House leadership and said, let's have a vote on that. We passed it in the Senate. Had he done that, and others had done the same thing, we could have had a vote. If a vote had been allowed by the Republican in the House, it would have passed overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly, because all the Democrats would vote for it, and enough Republicans would vote for it. So I want the Hispanic community to know that Joe Hatt is a fraud with the Hispanic community. Thanks, everybody. Okay, thanks.